Welcome to Smack This, the unofficial God Smack podcast. I'm your host, Kevin Humphrey, where I talk all things God Smack. This is episode 25, the God Smack Icon CD. Uh, this week in God Smack news, the band was kind of busy on social media. Uh, one day they re- reminded fans to go uh, check out the video for the song Surrender. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's absolutely fantastic. I love this video. There's a lot of backstage stuff, on stage stuff from the European tour in October. Uh, on Tuesday, the band posted a video with uh, Shannon asking fans to post a video of themselves uh, headbanging. Sorry as I'm looking down. Head banging to the song uh, Surrender. Uh, yeah, I took part of that. And uh, what was really cool is the band actually responded. So I love that. That was fantastic. Uh, and then today on Instagram, the band posted a video with a picture of Sully in concert with some flames in the background and uh, this little snippet of the song Time Bomb being played. And they were asking, what city do you want the band to play in in 2023 when they kick off the Lighting Up the Sky World Tour? And that's it. God Smack News this week. Uh, this is episode 25. Uh, God Smack the Icon CD is what we're going to be talking about. Uh, a little bit of glare, sorry. There we go. It's still a little glare. Anyway. Uh... God Smack the Icon CD. Uh, Originally, I had a different episode planned, like I said in last week's episode. Uh, The original plan was I was going to do the South American tour review. uh, And as we know, the band postponed those shows for April. Uh, So I was like, well, what am I going to talk about for episode 25? And when I say I got stuff planned, uh, I got stuff planned that takes me all the way to episode 33. And I actually have some more ideas. I just haven't jotted them down yet. I've been kind of busy. Um, so, yeah. So, I thought, well, let's talk about God Smack the Icon CD. Now, originally, I was not going to talk about this album at all um why because the band doesn't even acknowledge it that it's even out here uh it's not on their website it's not on wikipedia on their discography it's not even listed uh you have to actually search for it on the internet uh so yeah so i wasn't going to do it but uh then when this all kind of happened i thought well why not? So <laughs> let's talk about it. Uh, the little bit of history of this. They call them icon CDs. They call them uh, millennial CDs. They call them uh, gold. Basically, it's Universal Records uh, that put out a series of CDs, of compilation CDs, I should say, kind of like a greatest hits of uh, different bands, different artists, and I'll give you some examples of that. Uh, Billy Ray Cyrus, I mean, is uh, achy breaky hard on there like 10 times. Uh, Brian Adams, so there's a little, there's some rock and roll there, so kind of give you a little diversity. Uh, George Strait has one, John Lennon. Uh, Kiss has, if my memory is correct, they have three different versions they got the 70s makeup the 80s non-makeup the 90s where they put the makeup back on uh leonard skinner megadeth michael jackson nirvana queen ringo star just to kind of name a few uh and there's a big long list and you can look it up yourself (laughs) there's a ton of them beach boys i forgot to put them on there but there's like a ton um now, uh, what I thought was really interesting is 
the release date of this album was June the 8th, 2018, and it was released two months after When Legends Rise. Now, like I said, this is a universal thing, uh, Universal Records, um, which Godsmack was part of. They were Universal slash Republic Records. Uh, they did not re-sign after the Horsepower album and tour. Uh, they decided to sign with BMG Records, which released Sully's second solo album, which was last week's episode, episode 24, and When Legends Rise. So When Legends Rise came out two months after the Icon album came out. So what's really kind of got me thinking is, did they release this? to hope steal some sales from Godsmack. I don't know. It does kind of make you think. Uh, how many copies has this sold? I can't find any information as far as that goes. Um, there's 11 songs on the album. It goes from the first album and all the way up to a thousand horsepower. And like I said, that's the kind of the stint that they were signed with Universal slash Republic. Um, now what I did thought was very interesting is there's not a song off the other side EP. Uh, the reason why I bring that up is because to Shay, the song off the other side was such a huge hit. So why is it on there? I don't know. Maybe they kind of threw it together. Who knows? Uh, so let's talk about some of the tracks on this. So, uh, track one is Voodoo, track two is Whatever, track three is Keep Away, so that's your big three hit, monster hit songs off the first album. Uh, track four is Awake, and it's the only song off the second album. Uh, track number five is I Stand Alone, track number six is Straight Out of Line, so you only get two songs off the Faceless record. And again, here's another question. Why isn't Serenity on there? Uh, again, who knows? Uh, <laughs> track number seven is Speak, so only one song off of Godsmack 4. And like I said, they skip the other side and go straight to Godsmack 4. And then we get to song number eight, which is Crying Like a Beep. Uh... Song number nine, now I, uh, here's another interesting and also very cool, I thought. Uh, track number nine is Whiskey Hangover. Uh, they recorded this song to promote themselves on being out on tour with Motley Crue on Crue Fest 2. Uh, what is very interesting, this is a hit song. Uh, it's actually a number one song for the band. Uh, so... Yeah, it's really kind of cool that they kind of thought outside the box. Whoever put this, whoever put this together. Uh, track number ten is "Love, Hate, Sex, Pain," so you actually got three songs off the Oracle album, and then song number eleven is "One Thousand Horsepower," and again, like I said, after the Horsepower tour, they didn't resign with Universal. Uh, slash Republic, they ended up going to uh, BMG Records, so that's why there's nothing off of When Legends as well. Um, so, uh, let's rate the album. I'm going to rate it a 10 out of 10, uh, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. I think it's a great compilation album. You pretty much got not all the hit songs, but you got a good portion of them. Uh, and plus, you throw in that bonus track, Whiskey Hangover, which was on the Oracle album, and you could only hear that if you got the deluxe. Um, homework this week. Uh, do you have this album? Do you listen to it? Uh, me, personally, um, I probably listened to this two, maybe three times since I bought it. Uh, and the only real reason why I bought it was because I had to have everything God smack. Uh, no, so, well, that's part of it, too. But the cover, or the back cover, I love that picture that's during the Oracle uh, era. Because Sully still has that, and Shannon is growing the beard. Um, 
but yeah, and plus you got Whiskey Hangover on here, and uh, who would have thought that would have been on kind of a hits album. Um, now, this is an album that if somebody came up and asked me, hey, I want to start listening to Godsmack, what's the best CD to go after? Uh, I would probably say this. Um, like I said, it's got a good majority of the hit songs. Not all of them, but you kind of get a good history of the band all the way up to When Legends, and then I would say go grab When Legends Rise, and um, you get a really good idea of what this band's about. Okay, so that's it for this week. It's actually a short episode. Uh, again, uh, I wasn't really going to plan on talking about this CD. Plus, it's a hit CD, so it's kind of hard to talk about songs, which I've already talked about before. Uh, next week is episode 26, uh, the Ecopolis Blues Review is what I'm going to be talking about next week. And if you haven't heard of them, uh, they are a side project band uh, by Tony and Shannon. Uh, they actually released two albums. Uh, I'm going to talk about the first album next week. So I'll go track by track on that. And I'm, kind of, I'm really excited to talk about that. Um, that's it for this week. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, all my friends out there, uh, want somebody wanted me to give them a shout out. Kelly, hey. <laughs> there you go. So there's your shout out. Uh, so yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, do your homework, like I said, do you have this CD, do you even listen to it, uh, it's actually a pretty easy CD to find, I bought mine at Walmart, uh, I think it was like five, maybe seven dollars, um, yeah, so that's your homework, don't forget to like, subscribe, write me a comment, uh, and that's it, and you just... God, God's back.